Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specials from Subaru Prince George here. This is our 2023 Subaru BRZ Sport Tech with eyesight in the World Rally Blue. Customers coming to pick it up today. Wanted some iconic Subaru gold wheels to go with the BRZ. The World Rally kind of makes sense. So we have some fast FC gold wheels. This, I don't think the video is doing it justice. They, we just put the stock rubber on it. Customers taking the stock rims, they're gonna put winters on it. They're from the lower mainland. They're gonna drive it year round. So pretty slick. So I was actually concerned if they were actually gonna be able to fit the wheels in the back. At the back here. Press it and unlock and it pops open so long as you have the key fob on you. So the idea with the BRZ, you can actually fit with the front or the second row seats folded flat. Four wheels, you can actually fit them with the stock size rubber in here. So you can, the idea is you can take this car to track day. You don't have to be driving on those wheels, on your track tires, which is nice. Get a little bit more life out of them. They might not be the nicest for everyday driving either. So with it being, the automatic with the eyesight, you get the backup sensors in the rear bumper. They'll actually apply the brakes if thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. No changes for the 23 model year versus the 22. They're all the same, but it's a, it's a great looking car. I think that the gold wheels really changed the look of it. It's powered by the 2.4 liter engine running on premium, produces 228 horsepower, but it's a super light rear wheel drive car. It's all about the handling. On the inside, we've got the leather, the ultra suede, power windows, locks, bottle holders, great looking interior. The Sport Tech gets the red stripe of red leather on the seats. That's one of the first ways you can tell. The wheels are also different. Now, I don't know if you can actually see it in here, but above both the driver's seat and the passenger seat, there's indents. The idea behind that, you get a little bit more headroom if you're wearing a helmet on the track, doing autocross, it's the idea behind it. So, to access the second row, you've got this lever right here. And of course, these seats are folded flat, but there's still room. You could definitely fit four tires with rubber on them in here for a track day. Actually, I know one of the Subaru higher ups does that. He's a great time with it. He said it's not actually difficult to fit them in there. I'm gonna tilt this back. So it is just a manual adjustment seat, but it is still height adjustable just off of a pump system. These bolsters are definitely more aggressive than most of the bolsters that you find in our vehicles, but they're designed to hold you in the corners. And this vehicle is all about the handling, so it'd be perfect for that. On the inside, Driver's left knee, you can pop the trunk. You've got the brightness for the gauges, your scroll wheel there. It is push button start. The push button start location is not quite the same as most other Subarus. Most other Subarus would be up there, but foot on the brake. Comes to life. You've got your all digital dash, your gauge cluster. You can change that quite a bit. There's a lot to play with on these. Navigate, change. Change lots of things. <laughs> steering wheel, a little bit different than most of the Subaru steering wheels. It's super small. You do have the paddles for selecting your own gears if you want. Bluetooth on the left-hand side. Cruise down here. Because this is built in combination with Toyota, this is the very Toyota-style cruise. Use this to navigate through the options that you want to see. But there's lots of custom changes that you can make to it if you want to see like this is you know you got your g-force <laughs> nice big easy to read digital speedometer with your tack around the outside fuel gauge on the right steering wheel tilt and telescopic so you can fit drivers of varying heights and arm lengths in here with ease over here dash sorry about the glare there but you've got physical buttons on the side touchscreen so they removed navigation from the touchscreen from the infotainment because most people have a smartphone for android auto and apple carplay i'm not going to move this car because the customer's going to be showing up pretty quick but sorry about the glare guys but 
yeah, that, that's actually front straight from Subaru. Most BRZ owners have a smartphone and they're gonna use that. You get access to the My Subaru app, three year trial to the connected services with most new Subarus, BRZ included. That only comes in the Sport Tech. You do not get that in the base. When you put it in reverse, backup camera pops up. You can see the parking sensors are indicating we're close to the building. Rear assist braking is active. Below that, we have dual zone climb control. So driver can have one temp, passenger can have a whole nother. It ranges from 15 on the low side all the way up to 30, pretty much. So freezing to tropical, depending how you and your passenger want it. If passenger gets out, you just hit sync, goes back to driver controlled. Mode will change where the airflow is being directed and it just displays on the fan strength there. Heated mirrors and back window for those frosty mornings recirculating for AC right now. If you don't want it on at all, you can turn it off. Shifter is an automatic, looks kind of like a manual, but it's, an, it's a six speed automatic transmission. So this, it looks like a manual, but you have to actually pull over to go to reverse. You can go straight down to neutral and it kind of kicks over and then down and there's your manual mode and you can shift off of the shifter or you have the paddles. You can see in the center display right under the digital speedometer, it says first, and it's not gonna let me start off in second, but some of them you will, BRZ apparently you can't. Down here, we've got traction control off, we've got track mode, we have snow mode and we have sport mode. So all different driving modes. When you turn off traction control, pops off up bottom right there. Track mode, you have to press and hold and it changes your gauges as well. Then you just press and it goes back. Sport mode, and then snow mode. So not a whole bunch of difference. It, it's a few little things, but very, very cool. Heated seats, that's new in the, or I shouldn't say new, but it's only available in the Sport Tech, the full load. The only complaint I've actually read about these from people online is the position of the cup holders, which I, I agree is kind of terrible, but you've got your USBs and an aux cord there. The USBs are for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I like the style. I don't like the placement. And then up top here, SOS and roadside, that's that part of that three-year trial to the connected services that you have. Door switch for lights. And then let's just take a look at the engine as well. I'm very, very excited about this car. I love the gold wheels on it. Hood release. All right, just wanna be very, be careful, I don't scuff anything getting in or out of this car. But yeah, that, I like the gold wheels a lot, I really do. So underneath here, to access it, I always go to the right of the Subaru logo and move my hand from right to left, and it's right there. But yeah, the 2.4 boxer engine. It says Toyota D45 boxer Subaru. This car is built totally in combination with Toyota. They have the 86, we have the BRZ. Pretty much everything the average consumer is gonna to touch is in yellow. Coolant, dipstick, oil, washer fluid, brake fluid. And then the placement of the battery is up there. And then I don't like to set these down and push on them. I just like to drop them. It's an aluminum hood and aluminum fenders, lightweight, but you never wanna take the chance of denting them. And we had a larger customer push his hood down and he actually dented it. Took a lot of force, but he did. Yeah, there's a, another nice side look at it. But yeah, those gold fast FC wheels, they're, they're pretty sharp. So we will hopefully see more people doing things like this to their cars before they leave the dealership. I think they're super cool. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. If you have any questions about this car, any of the cars in our lineup, or any of the technology, any questions like that, please let me know in the comments below. I do try to answer all those. Talk to you guys soon.